A common comment I get on my sardine fasting videos is, you're gonna get arsenic poisoning if you eat that many sardines. And typically this comment stems from a Joe Rogan podcast where he talks about where he ate a bunch of sardines and then got arsenic poisoning from it, or so he thought. But I think there is a profound misunderstanding about what is going on here, so we are going to dive into it. First, we need to discuss the different types of arsenic that are out there because it turns out there's not just one. When we're thinking about the arsenic that we should be concerned with, we are thinking about inorganic arsenic. That stuff is nasty and you don't want to have any of that in your system. But there is another type of arsenic that is not as harmful and it's called fish arsenic. Yes, that is its name and I think you can infer the reason why it's called that. Fish arsenic is an organic arsenic that is found in fish and shellfish. It's also known as arsenobetaine or arsenocholine, but fish arsenic is way easier, so that's what we're gonna call it. Fish arsenic is much less harmful than inorganic arsenic, and it is rapidly excreted in your urine. On the other hand, inorganic arsenic is the most toxic form of arsenic you can find. It's found in soil, groundwater, and some foods. It is a confirmed carcinogen, and it is the main chemical contaminant in drinking water worldwide. The best way to test for arsenic toxicity is through a 24-hour urine collection test. What this entails is you collect all of your urine for 24 hours, and then a lab takes a sample of that urine and tests it for arsenic. The caveat to this is you cannot have consumed any seafood whatsoever for at least 48 hours before taking the test because of fish arsenic. If after at least 48 hours of not consuming fish, you take this test and your arsenic levels are still elevated, then you'll know that you've had a true exposure to inorganic arsenic. And at that point, you should be concerned. I decided to do this 24 hour urine collection test after a 14 day sardine fast. I was averaging four to six cans of sardines per day during that 14 day period. Joe Rogan said that he was consuming three cans of sardines per day. So at four to six cans, obviously I was consuming more. I purchased this 24 hour urine collection test online at ultalabtest.com and it cost $110. This is a Quest Diagnostics test, so after I ordered it, I had to go over to my local lab and pick up the urine collection jug. Then I brought that home and just basically collected my urine for 24 hours. The way this works is you get up in the morning, you pee, and then after that point, you collect all of your urine for the next 24 hours. Then you bring the jug back to Quest and they take a sample and that is what they test for your arsenic levels. I got the results back in about five days, but before we take a look at those results, I'd like to take a moment to thank today's sponsor, Element Electrolytes. I've been using Element Electrolytes since the beginning of Car carnivore and they are excellent for increasing your overall hydration, but also in the beginning of carnivore, they are excellent for mitigating the worst of your keto flu symptoms. I use their raw unflavored packets. There is no sugar, no sweeteners, no flavors, no nothing. It's just a thousand milligrams of sodium. 200 milligrams of potassium and 60 milligrams of magnesium. I also really like how easy these packets are to take with you when you're traveling. I travel a lot and we just put a bunch of them in a Ziploc and they're good to go. I also really enjoy their sparkling waters. They just released the premix sparkling waters, I don't know, maybe a few months ago and they are absolutely delicious if you would like to include some kind of flavored beverage in your version of the carnivore diet. Both the raw and flavored packets and the sparkling waters are free of maltodextrin and are excellent choices for the carnivore diet. Right now, Element is offering my viewers a free sample pack with any order. So you can head over to the link in the description. It's drinkelement.com slash Jenny Midich. That's D-R-I-N-K. L-M-N-T dot com slash Jenny Midich and get your free sample pack with any order today. Let's dive into these arsenic test results. My arsenic test came back as very low and very normal, 10 micrograms per liter. So you can see even after eating a shit ton of sardines for 14 days straight, my arsenic levels were normal. Now this 24 hour urine collection is the gold standard test for arsenic. A blood test is not going to give you as accurate of results. A single urine collection where you're just peeing in a cup, that can also be used for testing for arsenic. But again, it's not going to be as reliable as this 24 hour urine collection test. So let's bring it back to Joe Rogan. What happened there? 
The very first mistake that was made here was that Joe Rogan got a blood test for arsenic. As we just discussed, urine is the best way to measure arsenic, and his doctor should have ordered the 24-hour urine collection so that he would have gotten the most accurate results possible. Next up, I think Joe might have been consuming seafood right up to the point of the test. And like I mentioned before, you have to stop consuming seafood for at least 48 hours before any arsenic test, otherwise it's going to skew the results. I also think that there was this big assumption made that when his arsenic level was elevated that it was because of inorganic arsenic, which we discussed earlier, is the form you don't want to have. That's the bad form. And it was most likely fish arsenic. So I think there was some fear mongering there because of some misunderstanding of the difference between the two. There's lots of ways you can get true arsenic poisoning. And if his levels were truly high, let's say he did it right, he stopped eating seafood for at least 48 hours, and then he did the 24 hour urine collection test and his arsenic levels were still elevated, I would first wanna look at environmental factors or other foods rather than looking at sardines. So some other food items that are sources of inorganic arsenic are rice and other rice products, cereals, fruit juices, especially apple juice. And if you're a smoker, tobacco is a huge source of inorganic arsenic. Now, Joe Rogan follows a, an animal-based lifestyle for the most part, but he's pretty open about the fact that he's not super super strict with that. He drinks, he smokes, and he does indulge in other food items from time to time. I would probably want to take a look at his diet just to see if he had been consuming, you know, inorganic arsenic in that way. And then I'd want to probably take a look at the soil and the water supply, you know, in the area in which he lives. But because he mentions in the podcast that he got that blood test and then he stopped eating sardines, and then he got the blood test again and his arsenic was back to normal. What I think happened was he never had arsenic poisoning. He just did not stop eating sardines for at least 48 hours before the test. That was the first mistake. Second mistake, blood test. You gotta do the 24 hour urine collection. Now my main reason for making this video is not to throw shade at Joe Rogan. I think he is great in many ways, but I don't want people to be scared of eating sardines just because of a one-off comment from a podcast that was like over two years ago. Sardines are one of the most nutrient dense foods you can eat. They are mostly wild caught. They are full of protein and vitamins and minerals. And it's one of the best ways you can get a big dose of omega-3s in a little tiny package. They're also cheap and very easy to get a hold of. If there's ever a food shortage, I promise you the sardines are gonna be the last things to leave the shelves, even though they're one of the best canned food items you can buy. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. And also let me know, what is your experience with eating sardines? Do you eat them often? Have you ever done a sardine fast? Do the thought of sardines make you wanna vomit? Have you ever wondered if your arsenic levels would go up if you were eating a lot of sardines? I love hearing from you, so let me know in the comments below. I'm going to put a link to my 14 day sardine fast video right here so you can check it out if you'd like to. And also in the description of this video, I have put links to the 24 hour urine collection test so you can measure this for yourself if you'd like to. Like I said, it's $110 and you do have to pick up the urine collection bottle from Quest. At least that's where I had to pick it up if you're ordering it from altalabtest.com. And just a quick note, I wanted to thank all of the channel members that are scrolling on the screen right now. These people support the testing and data gathering that I do. I pay for all of these tests out of pocket and share this data with you so that hopefully you can learn something and improve your metabolic health. So if you'd like to support me in any way, you can join this channel membership either here on YouTube or on Patreon. I'll put those links in the description. And with that, I'll see you in the next video.